<laughs> he says he doesn't believe me. He says I'm 15. That's funny. So maybe show him how your life has changed since 15, who you are now, the events in your life since then. Okay, yeah. So I'm showing him images since 15 of my life. He's surprised, but he's okay. Okay, now he's telling me that his best friend didn't support him just like Brad. Doesn't support me, him. Take a moment to appreciate this part and how it's been protecting you for so long. Just let it know you are grateful for that. Okay. okay. And now, can it let you connect to the part it's protecting? Yes. Yeah, he's saying yes. There's a, a part that's feeling alone and worried about being gay. Oh, that must be why the other part gets so mad at Brad, that angry part. It's because this part's feeling so bad. That makes total sense. And it wants Brad to change so that it can feel better. Of course. That, that's it, right? So can you ask this thinking or figuring it out part if it can come back later? Is it okay to come back to the part that's alone and worried? Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I'm just letting that, yeah, I'm letting that worried part know that I hear it and, and it gets better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this sounds like a part that wants to reassure him. So could you let this part know that you get how well-intentioned it is and then see if it's okay for this part to just step aside so that we can um, keep working with this other part and maybe help him out. Yeah, okay. Yeah, boy, I've, <laughs> I've got a collection in here. You do. How do you feel towards this teenage part now? Hmm. I have an embarrassed part telling me I should be over this by now. Okay, so maybe let that embarrassed part know it doesn't need to stick around here and be embarrassed. It can go somewhere else if it would like, a park or a beach. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's gone. Yeah, okay. I didn't know I could do that. All right, thanks. All right, I'm back with this 15-year-old now. So I'm just letting him know that I, I know he's having a hard time, but other kids have it a lot worse, a lot worse than him. So it sounds like this is a part that's maybe wanting to comfort him by minimizing his distress. Can you ask it to step aside or maybe go to a waiting room? Well, I mean, it really wasn't that bad. I never got hit or anything like some of the other kids did. <laughs> okay. So it sounds like that part doesn't want to step aside, which is fine. Uh, can you ask it what it thinks might happen, though, if it does? What, what's its concern about letting you come back to this other part? Uh, it says, well, it says it'll just be a big pity party. That's what it's saying. Right, and then what might happen? It says I'll be sobbing on the floor. So it sounds like it's concerned you might become overwhelmed by the other part. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Good, let it know. Okay. Now ask it, how would it be for this part if we could get the information from the other part without you being overwhelmed? Would that be okay? Hmm? It says yeah, that would be fine. Yeah. Alright. So can you let the alone and worried part know that you get that it has really big feelings and that it's not going to be helpful if it floods you. You won't be able to stay with it if it floods you. And it doesn't need to flood you to get your attention. In fact, if it steps back a little bit, you can see it more clearly. Right? So just ask it to do that. And see if this protector is okay now with you coming back to this part. Hmm. It's telling me it's skeptical. All right, so ask this protector if it's willing to monitor what goes on and to step in and shut down the communication if it looks like you're going to be overwhelmed. Is it okay for it to do that? Okay, yeah, it's good with that. Oh. Okay, so now this 15-year-old, this part, it's showing me... It's... It's sitting on its hands, but I don't know what that's meant to mean. Okay, so let it know that you're not clear and see if it can show you more or give you the information in a different way, maybe. Okay, I can do that. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Right. Right. So show me the guy at the library who's gay and um, he waves his hands around the whole time when he talks. 
Oh, I get it. Okay, so this part, this part's worried that if he talks and uses his hands to express himself, that people are going to realize that he's gay and he's going to be found out. Okay. Okay, because he's, he's letting me know he's only come out to Kim. Kim's his best friend. That's the only person he's come out to. Oh. Okay, so, oh. All right, so this, he's telling me he lives with, he gets frightened a lot. He lives with a lot of, lot of fear. A lot of fear. And he says when he comes home, his dad makes gay jokes. And his mom keeps asking him about girls. Do you have a girlfriend? What about your friend Sarah? Oh, okay. Oh, no, okay. And he's really, really lonely. Really lonely. He, he's telling me he thinks about killing himself. And he thinks he's disgusting because he likes other boys. I'm just letting him know that he's not. There's nothing disgusting about that. Just see if it's okay for the part of you that wants to make him feel better to let you stay connected with him. Oh, all right. Yeah, it, it says okay. It says okay. Okay, now he's telling me he's mad at me. He wants to know where I've been. How come I haven't been around? How do you want to respond when he tells you that? This might be another part, I'm not sure, uh, but I want to tell him not to be mad at me, <laughs> to be mad at me, because I, I, I want to be his friend. Sounds like his anger has activated a protective part of you, as to protect you for it will allow you back in. Oh, okay, okay. I'm getting a yes, yeah. Okay, so I'm, I'm telling him I'm sorry that I wasn't around back then. But I'm here now, yeah, and he's he's okay with that, yeah. Oh God, he just he feels so badly about himself. He feels so ashamed. I'm letting him know I get it. Okay, he's glad I'm listening to him. He knows I'm there. Great. Good. Okay. How long has he felt ashamed for? Can you ask him? Okay. It says a long time. Okay. He's showing me uh, my sister's sixth birthday. I would have been five, so he's five. And he wanted to play with her doll. She got this doll that he liked for her birthday. So he hid it, right? He hid it in his room so he could play with it later. Okay, and then his mum, he's telling me that his mum found the doll. And then she started screaming at him. She started shouting at him. Mm, no. Not getting anything else. It's like it's gone blank again. So can you see what this blanking part's concern is? How come it came in right now? Okay, yeah. So this blanking part is saying... Um, Uh, if I spend, if I get to know this part better, this part that's um, been treated badly by mum, then uh, it's worried that I'm going to have to um, confront mum, my mum about it, about how she treated me, it, when I was six, and uh, this part doesn't want to bring any more stress into mum's life, so that's why it's blanked out. Okay, hey, that's great. So, can you let this part know that all we're doing is getting to know your system internally and there are not going to be any changes in the external world unless the entire system, the majority of the system thinks it's a good idea to do that and then that's a separate negotiation. But what we're doing right now is simply getting to know the internal world. And in fact, if this part is so concerned about changes in external relationships, it can have the final say about whether that happens or not. See if it's okay with that assurance and then to allow us to continue.